Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, still the voice of hardcore boxing. Right, straight into business. Mark O'Hook, age 35, 41, 5 and 1. Has been called out by Yui Fury on Twitter. Eddie Hearn's, uh, Yui's tweeted Eddie Hearn and Hook and MTK and all that. Said, please make the fight, Eddie. Yui Fury, age 25, 24 and 3. Is it a good fight for Yui Fury? Uh, yeah, I think I think it, I think it's a great fight for Yui. I think it's a great fight. Ucks a three-time world champion at cruiserweight. Did he have about? What's he got? Eleven or twelve world title wins to his name, something like that. Two-time WBO cruiserweight champion and an IBO cruiserweight champion. So he's no mug, is he? You is 25 year old, he's coming he's coming up through ranks and Hook's probably at the top of the mountain coming down, so is it a good fight? Yeah. Has Yui got a good CV? I think he has for 25 year old. Look at Yui's defeats. Look at his defeats. Parker, I thought he won. Poole left fight in Bulgaria, I was sat ringside from here to that TV screen there away. Uh, I thought that the bad cutting round to affected him. And the third one, he got beat against Povetkin. That happens, doesn't it? He had a bad night at the office. Povetkin was still top five, top six in the world. Yui were, what, 24 then? So as far as I'm concerned, or 24, 25, as far as I'm concerned, that's probably seasoned, seasoned him a bit better, that, that fight. Uh, and you go, out, you go again, don't you? But I think he gets a lot of stick, Yui from a lot of hardcore fans, why I don't know, because he's a great fighter, just because he don't get his sent out there and, what's the word, just because he's not in every interview and stuff like that, some people are just quiet aren't they, and, I don't know, Savannah's quiet isn't she, so some people are quiet but they can fight, they're the ones you've got to watch for the quiet ones, whereas the loud ones, well we all know about empty vessels don't we, so all they're good for is hitting a punch bag. So, as far as I'm concerned, people need to get behind you, we. And, you know, we're going to see, aren't we? But Marco Wook fight, I'm on board for that. I think it's a great fight. I don't think it'll happen. I think Matchroom uh, are going to go with Katie Taylor and Delphine Persoon on the chief support. So, I think Yui might miss out on Aura 22nd, which I think is a shame. But... Matchroom have got to start putting fighters out there, haven't they, now? I mean, this is how I look at it. I think I've mentioned this before. Cheeseman's fighting Eggington, but Eggington's Barry Earns pet project, and Cheeseman's trained by Matchroom's head trainer. So, they're going to get looked after, aren't they? It's going to be, uh, what you're going to get now, right? You're going to get people at Matchroom. They're going to be looking out for people who, who, who kiss ass, aren't they? They're going to be looking out for people that they class as loyal. I don't, I don't class it as loyal. I class it as people like Eddie Hearn who rings Tony Bell you up midnight and says, do you want to come to do some press for me tomorrow? Bell you's, yes please. They ring Steffi Bull up, we're going to put this fight on. Is that all right with you? Yes please. These are yes men. Yes men. Whereas not everybody's like that. They say, now, how much are we getting this and that? Dave Allen. He, he, he went against the grain, didn't he? Well, I want a bit more. I'm not going to fight now, has he? And that's just how it goes now. All I'm doing is narrating you a story. It's up to you to look. I, I can't tell you too much. So it caused me loads of problems, but I can give you the, the skeleton shell of it, and it's up to you to piece it together, like a jigsaw. But... Marco Wook against Yui Fury, I'm on board with that, that'll be a good fight for Yui, 35 year old against a 25 year old. Povetkin is just a bit more seasoned than Hook, isn't he? And, uh, but I think that if Yui can fight Hook and then he get Povetkin after Dillian White's done with him. So, but who knows, who's to say Dillian White's even going to beat Povetkin? He's got, he's, he's, you know, him and his trainer have part of the company, so... It is what it isn't. Alright, so peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. Don't have nightmares. Shout out to Lacoste. Innovation Alloys. South Yorkshire Packaging.
and Watchfinder. Catherine at Leeds at Watchfinder, thank you very much. Peace out.